Hey guys, we're in a one and I'm talking about the Xbox Series S because remember how a report from Windows Central said both consoles will be releasing November 10th and the more powerful Xbox Series X will cost $499 and the Xbox Series S, according to the leak from Brad Sams, will be about $299, right? So I'm just wanna go with these prices because could this be Microsoft's ace in the hole? Now what do I mean by that? Well, let's face it, especially with the news that Halo Infinite was being, is, is now delayed until 2021 and not gonna be there for the launch of the Xbox Series X. And with the lack of exclusives, I believe, for the consoles, because I think basically most of the games, I think they said, at least for like the first year, are also gonna be in the Xbox One. It kind of, I believe, made a lot of people be like, wait, why would I wanna upgrade now, right? But with the Xbox Series S, I think this could really be their ace in the hole for the whole generation almost, to the point where I could almost see Sony, maybe, I'm not saying they are, copying it. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I could see Sony releasing like the PS5 mini or something, a weaker version of their PS5 at a much cheaper price later on to kind of compete with the Xbox Series S. Why? Because right now, Xbox Series S would kind of be in a league of their own. What do I mean by that? Well, between Microsoft and Sony, Xbox Series S for the foreseeable future would be like the most powerful console that isn't 4K. So it would appeal basically, I think, to anybody who just wants to play their games on maybe the 1080p TVs they own and, and doesn't want to spend a bunch of money. So I believe a lot of people would be like, hey, I don't really care about the disk drive. I don't really care about 4K because I don't own a 4K TV or I just don't care about 4K that much. So I'm just gonna buy this one for 299 and I can see that happening a lot. I really think Microsoft would have a lot of consumers going for its product because it would be able to play most of the games, let's face it, a lot of games that maybe don't come on the Nintendo Switch and it's a cheaper price and if they don't care about 4K or disk drive, then that seems like the console for them. So I really think Microsoft may have something here with the Xbox Series S because a lot of people, as I pointed out in my other video with the percentages, still don't own, I believe, a 4K TV, even in the US. So it kind of still makes sense to appeal to the more 1080p crowd. And, and if Sony doesn't appeal to the 1080p crowd, then they, Xbox may have almost a monopoly on the people that don't care about 4K that much, don't care about the disk drive, and maybe don't even own a 4K television. But if this is successful, if the Xbox Series S, let's just say it sells like four times more than the Xbox Series X. If this is successful, then we may see that in the future. What I mean by that is like, imagine when 8K becomes more the standard, right? I think we may see even Sony, if this is successful, being like, okay, we're gonna make a console that is significantly cheaper than the one we're making for the 8K TVs, and it's still gonna be 4K. I can see this almost starting a trend if this is successful, but only God really knows. I mean, what do you guys think about this theory that this may be Microsoft's ace in the hole for the next set of consoles from Microsoft and Sony? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and may God bless you all.